Hello guys, my name is Natos, and I today we have another video, this time it is yet another video for Play.gg. Today we'll be doing our pick and predictions for the Challenger stage at I Am Rio, and if you have checked my Twitter, you will see I did a tournament for the RMRs, where we had to predict who would go through and like who would end up in what kind of position, and I actually ended up winning it with 33 points, uh, two more than the second place finish. So I am definitely warmed up for the pick and predictions here for the Challenger stage, and to not waste your time, I'm going to be doing this super speedy, so I will be talking pretty fast but I hope you'll be able to understand what I'm saying either way. Now, to get the safe ones out the way, Vitality, number one in the world. Even though they lost to Australis last night, I expect them to go through. Cloud9, I see as actually the team that will perform the strongest in the whole challenger stage. So I give both of these a confidence rating of a solid 5. The reason that I take the strongest team down here and not here is because if Cloud9 just lose one match, I don't get a point for them if I put them at the 3-0. But if you place them here, I think it's a gifted point basically i don't see a world where they don't go through as i really have a lot of faith in them but maybe i'm completely jinxing it now now for the next pick i'm going to be taking furia one of the more experienced teams at the majors and um, a team who has a very high top level they have a decent sort of um, average level as well and i see them as going through i don't have too much like faith in them i would say this is kind of a confidence rating of let's call it a three um if you don't feel like they are going to be going through you could put them as your 3-0 team but i'm going to be keeping them here for me now for mouse i'm going to give them also a confidence rating of three i don't think they look particularly good at the imrs but they didn't look bad either honestly and i think in most other tournaments we've seen them in they have looked quite good they are a very young team and i think now that they've overcome the hurdle of just getting stickers they will maybe relax a little bit more and they'll be able to play their own game they're also facing a lot of teams from different regions and i think the base of mouse is just strong enough to make it through this stage i feel kind of the same with Fnatic. um they also are, even though they don't have the youngest players in terms of age, they still have quite inexperienced players. Fastra getting his first sticker ever. And now that they've overcome that obstacle, again, I see them as performing better, as uh, we've seen them perform quite well in a lot of other tournaments. I give them a confidence rating of maybe, let's say, a 3 also. Um, maybe put Furia and Fnatic at a 3.5. A little bit more confident in them than Mouse, for, for example. Um, for the next two picks, I'm going to be picking OG. I don't think that they are a particularly uh, amazing team, but man-to-man, -man, they have one of the strongest lineups, uh, you know, on paper at this stage, in my opinion. A lot of talent, um, a lot of uh, older players as well, and uh, there's a dog in the background. Um, but yeah, happy with my OG pick for now. Um, confidence rating, I don't know two and a half maybe not too confident but i think it's one of the better picks at this tournament for the last pick in the bottom bracket i'm going to be picking big the reason i'm taking them is because i think they've looked pretty decent and they normally play quite well at the major a confidence rating of maybe only a two honestly uh, i think this is the most unsafe of my picks now um, the reason i've placed them here is because i am going to be placing outsiders in the three zero bracket they just won esl rotterdam and in my opinion they have a really high top level but their bottom level is also very low their playstyle is quite gimmicky uh, they're playing in a very certain way and they are one of the teams most prone to anti stratting i would say for me a team that could honestly just beat everyone at the at this stage but could also fail to make it through and that's why i've decided to put them in 3-0 they are starting out against maus and i could honestly see them win as they have the momentum coming from uh, rotterdam where they beat out maus for example and that's why i've decided to put them in the 3 zero other than that to talk quickly about the teams that i did not pick so you can get my reasoning for why i didn't pick them evil geniuses did well at the narmr but other than that they haven't accomplished too much and i think they are just too unsafe basically so that's why i've decided not to go with them if you feel like they really are going to make it you could pick them i see them as uh, possible contenders for one of the spots but i've decided not to pick them bad news eagles a uh, bad run of form lately uh, Rigon, one of their star players has been sort of afk in the brain area for the last month if you check his statistics if he doesn't wake up i would be surprised to see them going through i feel pretty confident in not picking them in this stage but obviously um i like the players on the team so if they could surprise me i would i would love to see it nine said um I see as a team who won't make it. Uh, I don't think they will go 0-3. I think they will win one match, but I don't see them winning it. Gamer Legion, uh, in my opinion, definitely will not go 0-3. I think they have 9 set in the opening match, but I don't see them as going through. I do think, though, it's the same as the uh, Evil Geniuses pick. If you feel like Gamer Legion is going through, 
I'm not going to stop you of putting them in your pickums as I think it's not that bad of a pick. They did see like show some worrying signs with closing out matches, especially at the RMR, and with uh, this stage having a little bit tougher opponents, you'd say. I think Gamer Legion are uh, not going to make it, even though I think they will beat Nine Set in the opening match, for example. Serious Nation, I just don't think are honestly that great. Uh, I could see them going 0 3 here, but. They are a bit of an unknown entity, as my time zone is not that great to watch the NA matches. I've watched some of the matches at the RMR, but I've not followed their scene too closely, so I'm not going to be picking them for 0-3. IHC, I predicted to win the Asia RMR, and I think uh, mechanical skill-wise, they're actually potentially one of the top teams at the event, at least um, the star players are mechanically i think able to uh, juke it out against some of the best teams at this um, stage of the tournament but technically they are not that great i see them honestly winning one or two games but i don't see them going through to the next stage so i haven't placed them anywhere here you know um, but i don't see them as going zero three for imperial it is brazil they get land buff um, legendary players of course i see them winning one i see them honestly winning two as well but i don't think they're going to to be making the next stage so that's why i haven't picked them and that leads us to greyhound gaming who i am going to be locking in as my 0-3 pick the reason for this is that they came from the weakest rmr the asia rmr and they didn't even win it now i've seen them play and i wasn't particularly uh, impressed individually they have a few key players who are quite interesting alistair um, i think statistically he's not performing super well right now but he has in the past performed very well and he is a player who might be able to step it up for this stage Inns has been super solid and Vexite seems to be a guy who has like pretty damn good mechanical skill but I feel like strategically they're just not there and I think it's one of the weakest Australian sides we've potentially ever seen in a sort of major cycle so I have them as a pretty safe 0-3 pick obviously there are some best of ones at the beginning and there are other I would say bad teams that they might run into um, but I feel very good about this 0-3 pick it is a little bit lock based with the 3-0 and the 0-3 of course but uh, Greyhound Gaming is uh, a solid pick in my eyes so with that this is my pickums uh, make sure to go and follow me on twitter because i'm the type of guy who might second guess myself before <laughs> the stage actually starts typically one or two days before i might switch something i might not but following me on twitter and uh, like making sure to check for updates is the safest way to make sure you can follow my pick and predictions if uh, that's something that you would like for now that is it from me thank you so much for watching the video and make sure to check out play.gg a csgo news site who make great content here on youtube where you might be watching it or if you're on my channel just go and check them out it's a, a very nice site run by amazing people and uh, they definitely deserve to be getting a view from you so thank you so much for watching guys and um, follow my twitter for updates on the pickums for now i'm going to be leaving you but um, yeah i hope you enjoy the major and uh, get that diamond coin